Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Bass Brothers Fishing DMV. Today we're gonna to do a short video on the Pelican Bass Raider 10E, how to load it car top solo. As you guys know, I have a boat trailer for this. It just works out best for me, but there are definitely situations that don't have boat ramps, don't allow trailers, and car top is the only way to go. And the Pelican Bass Raider is a good boat to be able to load by yourself. That's what we're gonna get into today. I'm doing this video because I've got a lot of questions from people who are looking into buying this boat. Uh, curious to know, do I have to buy a trailer? How easy is it to do car top by yourself? Do you need more than one person and all of that? So we're just gonna do a quick video today and show you how it's done. Stick with me. All right, first thing I recommend guys is get a blanket. Get something that you can lay down on the back of your car or if you're loading it from the side on the side just to play it safe so you don't scratch your paint that's what we're going to do first so i just got an old blanket here you can use anything that's smooth got the blanket in place now we're going to lift the boat got two handles right here grab underneath We got the boat up, slide it over. All right guys, that was just step one. Getting the boat up in a position to then lift it up, put it on top. Don't forget also, depending on your type of truck or car, look at what type of roof rack. Do you have a crossbar going across? If you don't, you probably wanna get some. I picked up this pair of Yakima roof racks off of Craigslist. I forget what I got it from, they're used. They get the job done in perfect condition. So I'll put those there. So we're gonna go ahead at this point, finish the deal, get the boat on top. Let's do it. There we go. All right guys, I'm just gonna use regular straps that you can get in an AutoZone or hardware store. Nothing special here. I forget the length of these. So what I like to do is just strap them to each handle of the boat, one in the front, strap it down here, one in the, one in the I'm sorry, one in the back, strap it down, strap down the front also here, do it on both sides. This way the boat is stable as you're driving down the street. Last thing you want is your boat flying off your rooftop on the road. So that'll keep it from shifting back and forth and also keep it from levitating as the air hits underneath it. All right guys, I'll show you the other side. Got that strap done. And do this back strap and then we're set. All right guys, we got it done. Everything is strapped down using four straps going into each handle of the boat. Just like that. Down into the roof rack, through the front handle, going around to the front of the boat same thing that way it's supported all the way through just like that so i hope this helps you guys out if you're considering buying this boat answering the question how do you put it on top of your car can you do it by yourself is it too heavy is it too big realize guys i just did this by myself on an suv that's about, I don't know, about five feet tall. So of course, if you have a car, it's even easier than this to do. And that's one thing I love about this boat. You can go car top or you can get a trailer. All depends what works best for you. You guys know I have a trailer. It's right there behind us. I'll actually be doing a video on the trailer to answer some questions on that as well for the Pelican Bass Raider. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button. We got a lot more coming your way. We're very excited about 2020. Man, a lot of things in store. So subscribe to the channel so you get our notifications. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment. We'll see you on the next video.